Europe is doing well overall in general, both Western Europe and Eastern Europe. And uh, this is uh, very important to realize that overall uh, our projections for the uh, forthcoming uh, months are actually quite positive. Some countries are doing very, very well. Others are still growing modestly and we're concerned with that. One of the most surprising elements of the outlook for Europe is indeed the uh, export performance of some of the core countries. This is remarkable. Uh, of course, this means that Europe is benefiting from the general growth that is taking place throughout the world. And this proves a very important point, which is that European integration is delivering efficiency gains that some countries are taking advantage of to become more competitive throughout Europe. Uh, many European countries are now reorganizing their operations, using uh, uh, bases elsewhere in Europe to be more effective, more productive, and in, in that process becoming more competitive. I think this is very, very uh, uh, a source of strength. However, it is quite clear at the same time that there are big differences across Europe. Banks and the financial sector in general has been a source of concern throughout the world as a consequence of the financial crisis of 2008-2009. In other parts of the world, in the US and in Britain, uh, banks have made more progress than they have on the continent of Europe. Europe has lagged behind to a certain extent and that is a source of concern. And it is a source of concern because it need not be the case. I think it is possible and important to make some significant steps immediately.